Hello all, this is Tarun. Thanks for tuning in. Here I am going to show you how to open your heavy new script as fast as possible. Whenever we are trying to open heavy new script, not even heavy new script, whenever you are trying to open any new script, basically the two things will happen. The first thing is, it will import the new script. While importing the new script, it will do two things. First, it will uh, import the process settings then it will import the nodes so if there are any issues in process setting there may be a chance for new getting crashed so once the process settings has been loaded properly it will start importing the nodes so now the first part has been done now it will go for the second part after new has been loaded the process settings and nodes it will start calculating the nodes Based, based upon the pixel data from read nodes. Most commonly, the weightage of the script is decided by the read nodes. So it definitely matters how heavy the read nodes are. So if you're trying to open heavy new script, which which has uh, heavy read nodes like uh, DPX or, or uh, multi x process of read nodes, the importing time will be less, but, but the calculating time will be much heavier. So here what I'm going to do is, I'm going to skip this part. So once the script has been imported, I'm going to skip this part. So it doesn't matter how the script are heavy, we can able to stop calculating the nodes. I have created a demo script. When I show you the demo, you will get the better idea on that. Okay. So I am closing this. I'm going to open the script from my desktop. So this is the script which I have made for the demo. See, even though the script has been loaded within a second, see, uh, it's taking time to load the script, right? Yeah, uh, we are going to we are going to skip that loading part, okay? So this is the footage I have downloaded from internet, and then I have rendered it as DPX sequence. For the demo purpose, I have I have done a basic comp. Uh, this is the this is the area for extracting the soft mat. So here I can get the soft mat and here I can able to get the hot mat. Now I'm going to open the script again and closing this and playing the catch. Make sure uh, there is no data in the, my catch. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the same script but now I'm going to open from here. Open script by disabling all read inputs. Read inputs in sense I'm going to disable all the read nodes. The reason why I am going to disable all the read nodes is so once I have disabled all the read nodes the remaining nodes which means the rest of the nodes will don't have any data to calculate right so see the every nodes in nuke is calculating some uh, pixel data from the read nodes so we, once we have disabled all the read nodes they don't have any data to calculate right so for that reason I am going to disable all the read nodes Okay, I'm going to open the same script and I'm clicking open. See, as you can see that the script has been loaded instantly as before and there is no loading, right? The reason is we have disabled the read nodes. See, this is the read node. I'm going to enable one by one. See, this is the read node and also this is the read node and this one is the deep read node. So we can so you can import uh, DPX or images, and these two things are region nodes. The reason why I have the two nodes are uh, this is the uh, region version one and this is the region version two. So see the class names are region and this is region two. Okay, and also I have disabled the constant nodes. Mostly we will use constant nodes um, for our task, right? So I have also um, disabled the constant nodes. And these three nodes, basically we rarely use these two nodes. And the checkerboard, uh, basically for only uh, reviewing and QC purposes, uh, we are using this checkerboard. So I'm not going to disable these nodes. And then uh, the camera nodes. This node is uh, camera 1 and this is camera 2. And, the, and also there are two more nodes, the same camera nodes. Mm 
see this is camera 3 this is camera 4 so this is the older one and this is the camera uh, which you are using up to new 12 and these two camera nodes uh, I mean uh, this camera 3 has been released um, in new 13 and this camera 4 has been released in the versions of new 14 the reason why I am disabling all these nodes are see all these nodes has a uh, read node right see for the ACXR it has read node for this and also for this but for console we don't have a read node even for camera we have sorry uh, for camera 1 we don't have file now for this uh, camera 2 we have the file now and for camera 3 um, I will show you this in uh, new 14 I'm copying this two and I'm pasting in new 14 see for these two nodes still we have this uh, file now and also for this we have file lab over here right so uh, this file now will import some data from the directory right so that is why I am disabling all these nodes okay and even we have more nodes which has read nodes for example we have OCAO file transform even for this we have the read node and also for OCAO color file transform we have the read node but these nodes are very light nodes okay so I am I am disabling only these nodes okay See, see and also I have used a constant here and enabling these two. See, uh, I'm going to close this again. I'm going to I'm clean the catch. See, normally when you open the script from open, it will load the node. See, it's loading the nodes from here, right? But when you load the script from here, it will not it will not load the nodes. Okay, let's fix this issue. See the IPK nodes are throwing an error like a missing input channel. So the input read node for uh, IPK node has been uh, disabled. It will throw you an error like a missing input channel. So the IPK node definitely need a, a input channels to load. You can simply import the shuffle node. See once we plug the shuffle node into the pipe, the error has gone, right? See the reason is the input node has RGB channel, right? But we have disabled this. So there is no data to calculate for this IBK node. So that's why it's throwing you an error. So with this shuffle node, I am just plugging empty RGBA channels. So once I plugged in uh, shuffle node, the error has gone, right? So whenever you are using the IBK node, Try to use this shuffle node. So I am saving this and I am enabling all the nodes from here. Toggle all read inputs. See once I have enabled all the read nodes, see it start calculating now. Okay now I am closing this and I am inputting from here. Now it has been loaded instantly and there is no error. So you can load the nodes wherever you want. See, I am first uh, loading the read node, then I am loading up here. Then I am loading up to here. And also if you don't want to enable these nodes one by one, see I am disabling the nodes as before. If you don't want to uh, enable the nodes one by one, you can simply go here and you can toggle all read nodes. See, all the nodes have been enabled again, right? And one more thing, before we are going to um, toggling all these nodes, make sure you are viewing this uh, first read node. Okay? Because when you enable all the nodes by viewing here, also there may be a chance for the new getting crashed. So I am viewing here and I am enabling all the nodes. So now you can load the nodes wherever you want. So first I am loading up here. 
then I am loading to here and then I am loading here right and also previously I was uh, trying disabling all the nodes and also there is an option for toggling all the nodes so when we do this it will open by disabling all the nodes see it has disabled all the nodes you can you can also use this so I have added here it's purely based upon your wish okay now I'm going here and I'm enabling all the nodes see all the nodes were enabled right so let me show you the script so this is my script so these are nodes I have disabled while opening the new script deep read read j1 read j2 read nodes constant nodes camera 1 camera 2 and this camera 3 has been shipped with um, nuke 13 and this camera 4 has been shipped with nuke 14 and also i have added this uh, python file in the description below you can check it out from github and i hope you find something uh, useful in this video thanks for watching